Let's have a quick look around. It should be somewhere in this room. Okay, great. Let's use the the thing. Gong. Well, don't 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 do the gong. Okay, quickly. Armchair. Looks comfy, but I have no time to rest. Ways. Use the simple ways. Statue. Oh, what a nice statue. Is that how angels look like? Hmm. We ah, carpet. Carpet. All thieves have carpet at home. <gasps> Why isn't that a hidden hatch? I can't open it. I don't have any keys. The light on this, I guess, room, I can get very dark even during the day. Uh huh. Shoot it! Shoot it! Oh, okay. Okay, don't shoot. Don't shoot. Hmm. I want to open that hatch. I'm not leaving until I found Mr. ID's car. Well, don't we have a problem there? Here, then. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I hope he's deaf. It could be because I'm itching to use my gun, but I see no other choice. BAM! What the brain? Oh no. The man on the picture looks like a lock like Mr. Mitsk. I guess I found the card, alright. There are also two packs of frozen brains inside the hatch. Uh oh. What the heaven are you doing inside my house? Yikes! Oh. Watch out, boss! You messed with the wrong zombie. I'll let you know that I always set my mark at six feet. Try. Well, it's not that good. That's not. No way, you're laughing. You'll see first. I'll render you unconscious, then I'll rip your legs off. Oh, ho, ho. he's shooting with his gong. Uh, grab the gong. It's a gong of some sort. I wonder where he stole that from. Can I take it as a protection? Take the gun. Shoot the lamp. Can't shoot that in from this position. Uh, hmm. Shoot the gong. Bam! <gasps> ah, it will take more than a few bullets to make me unconscious. Can't shoot at that thing. It's gotta be. Wait, shoot away. Shoot, shoot, shoot the gong again. It'll take more than a few bullets to make me unconscious. Okay. Hmm. Quick! Can you close the window? Why? What are we doing here? Uh, close the window. I don't know why, but do it. <gasps> oh! Now shoot the lamp. Shoot the lamp. Bam! Shoot that from this position, but here. Oh no. Okay, we, we need to get the lamp. The lamp. Shoot the rope. I stopped that thing. I like that gone. But you stole it, you bastard. Oh, there we got it. Now, Gwen, help me out. I'm coming, boss. Ouch. How can you be so strong? Because he's a good fellow who eats his brains every morning. Oh yeah, oh yeah, of course. Good job, Gwen. Holding down while I call the police. I humbly thank you for retrieving my car, Detective Bart. So what happened to the thief? It's, uh, he's in jail. The police found much more stolen goods in his house than just your ID card, Mr. Metzk. Turns out he was a wanted criminal. But why would he steal my card in the first place? And why didn't he steal my brains too? Because he was hungry, probably. Gwen would. I'll check my notes until I come up with a theory about that. I'll let you know then. Tutorial. You still haven't found enough clues. Visit previous areas, find the clues, combine them in your notes, and form your deductions to solve the case. Still haven't got enough clues. The ID card looks a bit like 
Hát. Aha. Hmm. Ah, didn't have any real use for Mr. Main's ice car. So what is real motive and why did he rob the restaurant? I was hired by someone to commit the robbery. He was simply hungry. That was why he robbed. I would say he was. He must have been hired, right? Uh, because he also took the. It's very specific to go take that little card. If 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 he only stole brains, it. This would have been more likely, but he also took the ID card, so I think he was hired. Hmm. I found a pack of frozen brains at Oxodome. It was very similar to the ones that were stolen from Mr. That's fine. That is proof that Ox stole some brains from the fridge. Anybody could buy a pack of frozen brains at the supermarket. Well. Well. Well, that, that's kind of true, and that's kind of true. That is the proof that Ox stole brains from the fridge. Well, it does come, come together that way, doesn't it? Ox ate some of the frozen brains, that's... That was all... Well, what? Ox ate some of the frozen brains. Then stole all the packs he could. Ork was hired by someone to commit a robbery. Wait a minute. Anybody could buy a pack of frozen brains from there. Yeah, that's true, but you wouldn't lock them in a cage in that case. Very weird behavior. Uh, as you know, if you bought your brains recently, like some of us have. Uh, yeah, someone made him com commit a robbery. Mr. Minsk! Let me ask you about... Oh, I can't ask people of the, about the deductions. Okay. Uh, I'll keep you updated, Mr. Minch. What do we have that's new here? Uh, Gun is a revenous for appetite. You know what? We should just... Maybe just go have a talk with... Uh, uh, this... This fella. Helic. Oh, what are we doing here? Boss? Maybe the guard will let us pass if we pretend to be journalists. But why would we want to interview Helker? Perhaps I have something in my inventory that... Ah, 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 very smart. Smart thinking, Mr. Merck. I'm a journalist. I didn't mention it before, but now I am. Presley didn't mention it. I'm a journalist from the Quark. I'd like to interview Mr. Helic. Oh, really? About that? Yes, I'm writing an article about... Oh, The shampoo he's using for fabulous hair? Her favorite kind of food. The last car she bought? The opening of her new museum. The initiative concerning charity of the graveless zombies. Why she shoes such a creepy logo. Hmm, it is true, Miss Alec will open a new museum, and that she could certainly use any kind of publicity. Fine, we'll let her go. To go, wanting your room. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Sweet music. Come in, I'll be back to you in a minute. I apologize for the lack of shares. We're relocating. Hey, can I have a drink? Oh, thank you. Mmm, that's quite old, isn't it? Wait a second, you're not a journalist! I can tell from the look of your hat! Of course we're journalists. I can see there's no fooling you. A girl in my position cannot allow herself to be easily fooled. What gave it away? Maybe you could have fooled me, but... What? Maybe you could have fooled me, but the fat one is too unrefined and unprofessional. <laughs> the boss is fine the way it is. I'm positive she's talking about you. Me? I'm all skin and bones! Who are you, really? I'm a private detective, Mar. Uh, Miss Helic, and this is my temporary partner. <laughs> 
I'd like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay with you. Well, I'm busy, woman. That's since you're already here. Well, I have some notes to consult. Uh, you did a thing. Is it true that you offered a big sum of money to buy Mr. Mitz's ID card? Yes, it's true. I think it would be enrich my museum's collection. That card is a part of a set, you know. But why do you ask? The card has been stolen recently. Oh, I see. That makes me a sus suspect. Am I correct? But let me make another assumption. I believe Mr. Mitz didn't tell you. He was inclined to accept my offer, did he? Of course he didn't. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, but that's interesting, because he... Hmm. Ah. Ooh. I can't help you that, sorry. Who else was present when you gave your offer to Mr. Minsk? Ah, oh, I personally went to his restaurant to speak with him, I remember. I... correctly, his chef was there at time too. Ooh. Okay, so the chef is lying. The chef is lying very much. But I suspect that there was something tricky about him early on. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Huh. Okay. So there's something tricky here. Hmm, I don't think I can help you. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, she gave me some very interesting conclusions. Uh, thank you for your help, miss. You may come back later. Well, brain for food. I think you have some unanswered questions to answer. Mustache guy, what do you got to say? I know nothing about that. Okay, have a good day, sir. It's the detective here once more. What do you got to say for yourself, Mr. Mitz? Oh, wait a minute. We could... Maybe I was hired by someone. Mm -hmm. ah. So Helic offered a big sum of money to buy Mr. Mist's ID card, and Mist was actually more than willing to accept. That means Helic had no motivation to steal Mr. Mist's ID card. Helic changed her mind and didn't want to spend all that money. Yes. How about combining this with this thing? Hmm, Singar denies it, but both Midst and Helic confirm he was present at their meeting when Helic offered to buy Mr. Midst's ID card. Singar was present at the meeting, he knows about Helic's offer. Singar didn't care about the meeting and doesn't even remember being there. Aha! Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I don't think there's any connections there. Conclusion. My investigation is still missing a piece. Sewer's Ox stole the ID card, but who ate the brains? Was it him or someone else? What are you missing? Uh, it could have been Gwyn. Yeah. <laughs> mm, Gwyn is a ravenous appetite and he chased the thief away. He had the perfect chance to eat all those brains and blame the robber. Gwen couldn't resist the temptation to eat the brains. Gwen didn't eat the brains because... He... That's pretty obvious. My investigation is still missing a piece. Sewers Ox stole the ID card, but who ate the brains? Was it him or somebody else? Wait a minute. Let's have a look up here. He ate the brain here before. That rotten, rotten one. There's nothing useful in there. Well, of course there isn't. Let's get into the kit. The ID card is missing again. Why? 
Hmm. What are we doing? This being the scene of the crime, I'd like to have a better look. Yes, 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 yes. The wind over there is way too high for your average zombie. Wait a minute, wait. That was full, huh? Strange mark. There's a weird mark on the wall, right? Now along the window. It's shaped like a sole of a shoe. The thief stepped there to gain the momentum and reach the window. Aha! Uh -huh. The thief escaped from the window in the kitchen. And they pulled. Oh! Conclusion Gwyn ate the missing brains. Well, then it looks like I have found a solution. Time to end this case. Let's talk with Mr. Minsk. Everyone's here. So everyone are suspicious in this room. And I've gathered you to lead on to the conclusion, the ending of the story. So now we come here to find out the truth. I want to thank you once again for retrieving my important ID card, detective. But why did a thief steal it? What? You could possibly have for it. Have you come up with an answer? Yes, I have, Mr. Mintz. I think I have. It is evident that the thief had no use for your ID card. He was hired to steal it. By the way, but I need my hats for this one. Yes. But by whom? By whom? By a chef. Singar. That that dude over there. What? How did you? Ah. I mean why? Why did you uh, why would I do that? Uh, your respect, Mr. Mince, but you like your job here even more. You see, you see? When you heard that Misk was going to sell his card for a small fortune, you feared that he would close the restaurant and retire, so you decided to dispose the car. You see? You see? Hey, hey, uh, is that what he says? True, Shinja? I would have returned it eventually, and I specifically told him not to touch the brains. And so you confess? I'm so disappointed in you, Singar. I'll deal with you later. But I'd like to know, Detective. How could he steal all those packs of frozen brains? Well, you see? The thief escaped from the window in the kitchen, so he couldn't possibly have stolen all those brains. There were too many to carry. The only explanation is that he was so hungry he ate them. Right there and then. <gasps> Eat him, frozen. What a frightening appetite. I know, I know what you're thinking, Gwen. Uh, but Sewer Zork didn't eat the brains. Gwen did. Um. <laughs> it's not usual, unusual for older zombies to be that hungry. But she was wrong. Didn't eat the brains. Gwen did. <gasps> oh. I can't really say. This is that unexpected. But Gwen, I trusted you completely. I'm really sorry, boss. Mr. Miss, I saw the thief in the front of the fridge and I chased him away. But then I couldn't resist. You're putting me in a difficult position. You've always been a good worker, but you simply can't allow such thing to happen in my restaurant. I'm not going to press any charges, but you're fired. I understand. Now that you're out of the way, I think you again, Detective. You. you certainly are your fee. Oh, get the money. Wait, wait. What? Why are you still following me? Nothing is real, right? That a zombie who loves brains as much as I do isn't really suited to work in a restaurant. That's a no-brainer. <laughs> so I thought we'd make a pretty good team. I could work for you instead as a 
partner. What? No brain in way. Fine. It can be nice. You got nowhere else to go. Fine. See you at my office tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock sharp. If you're late, you're fired. Thank you, boss. I promise how we won't regret it. Mm. Oh, okay. Can, can we make it half past nine instead? No sheet. No, no, no sheeting here. Oh. Final score is seven out of seven. Zombie Society, the detective. Your deductions. Well, my friends, this was Zombie Society, the detective. It was nicely put together a game. I like it. Uh, and it's apparently a little uh, series of Zombie Society. I think I'm going to revisit this. We'll see. Well, maybe we do, maybe we won't. Anyway, I like this kind of uh, clever puzzle. And I like the point and click genre. It's very nice. So, if you like this, please share, like and subscribe. And you know where you can get more. I remember sharing my content will make you more popular among your friends. Most likely. Probably. That's that's how things work nowadays. And on that point, I'm gonna say goodbye and good luck. Especially in your life. Bye. Continue.